Uncover the shocking truth behind white phosphorus bombs in this eye-opening video. Delve into the mechanics of how these deadly weapons work and the devastating impact they have on the battlefield. Gain a deeper understanding of the science behind white phosphorus bombs and the ethical considerations surrounding their use. Stay informed and educated on this important issue by watching now. White phosphorus is one of the most dangerous chemical elements, and its use in warfare has been a subject of debate for decades. Not only is it highly volatile and ignites upon contact with air, but it is also poisonous and can cause the loss of entire body parts. Despite its devastating effects on populations, it is not considered a chemical weapon for some reason, and its use is partially permitted. In 2022, this debate resurfaced due to suspicions that Russia used white phosphorus bombs in urban areas of Ukraine, which many have labeled a war crime. To better understand this fearsome element, it is crucial to know both its chemistry and its history on the battlefield. Phosphorus was discovered 300 years ago by a German alchemist who curiously boiled and evaporated urine, filtering the residue until he obtained a new and unstable element. This accidental product became a popular poison among assassins of the time, although its glow in the dark made it easy to detect. Phosphorus can exist in several allotropes, with the most common being red and white phosphorus. White phosphorus is highly toxic and reacts violently upon contact with oxygen. In fact, it is so dangerous that it must be stored underwater or covered with paraffin to prevent spontaneous combustion. White phosphorus has a waxy appearance but is more solid, with a color ranging from white to yellowish and a garlic-like odor. When it comes into contact with oxygen, it emits a lot of toxic smoke and eventually ignites like a flare, leading to its use as incendiary ammunition by numerous armies, including Russia, the United Kingdom, Turkey, and the United States. Fires caused by white phosphorus are difficult to extinguish because the material can reignite at temperatures as low as 30 degrees Celsius. Additionally, it becomes sticky and adheres to many surfaces, including skin and clothing, causing extremely painful burns that can reach the bone. Militarily, one of the most common uses of white phosphorus is in incendiary bombs, designed to set fire to specific areas or destroy important equipment making them particularly destructive in urban environments and enclosed spaces. Furthermore, when it combusts, white phosphorus generates a thick, toxic cloud of pentoxide used to create smoke bombs that conceal the advance of troops and vehicles. For example, British Centurion tanks launched white phosphorus grenades to generate a smoke screen that shielded them from the enemy. While this does not cause significant damage to the tank structures, the effects on humans can be lethal. The mildest symptoms of white phosphorus exposure include abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. In cases of inhalation, it can burn the nose and throat, causing coughing and respiratory problems that worsen over time. The eyes and skin are particularly affected with painful irritations and burns. Without treatment, the wounds and poisoning can be fatal in less than a week. Due to the bright flash it generates upon ignition, Many armies use white phosphorus to illuminate and mark target areas, as the United Kingdom has done in military exercises in Kenya. However, this substance does not distinguish between military equipment and civilians, causing yellowish necrosis in chemical burns. The molecular properties of white phosphorus allow it to penetrate human skin quickly, making wounds take much longer to heal. Although the detailed effects of white phosphorus on human flesh have not been thoroughly studied, Dr. Rola Hallam, who has treated burn victims in Syria, asserts that incendiary weapons like white phosphorus cause devastating burns worse than conventional burns. These burns can penetrate metal, and the cumulative effects in the body can be lethal. Prolonged exposure can cause mandibular osteonecrosis, a condition where the jaw tissue becomes necrotic, leading to spots, brain damage, and tooth loss. Despite its dangers, the use of white phosphorus is not prohibited. There are restrictions on its deployment in areas inhabited by civilians, according to the Chemical Weapons Convention of 1993, which came into force in 1997 and has been ratified by 193 nations, including Russia and the United States. During the US intervention in Afghanistan, the Pentagon admitted to using white phosphorus, employing a strategy called shake and bake 
to drive the Taliban out of their hideouts with white phosphorus bombs, followed by artillery fire. In 2019, reports surfaced of the Turkish army using white phosphorus bombs in civilian areas during its military incursions in Syria. These reports led to calls for investigations, but white phosphorus occupies a gray area, not considered a chemical weapon and therefore not illegal, only restricted. However, these restrictions are subject to dangerously subjective criteria. The controversy resurfaced in March 2022 when Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky accused Russia of using white phosphorus bombs in civilian areas, violating the aforementioned treaty. This bombing, which occurred on March 24th, allegedly resulted in four fatalities. U.S. experts noted that this escalation is a key part of the Russian military doctrine in undermining enemy defenses. The Russian government, of course, has completely refuted these accusations, labeling them as propaganda, while chemical weapons rarely have the same lethality and destructive power as conventional weapons. The damage they cause to their victims is inhumane. The Ukrainian accusations cannot be fully verified at this time, but the use of white phosphorus remains a reality in modern combat. Despite extensive documentation of its devastating effects on human health, limitations on this type of weaponry have yet to be reinforced. We invite you to share your opinion. Leave us your comments and subscribe for more historical analyses. Thank you for following us to the end. If you are new to our channel, subscribe and follow our social networks in the description.